So I just moved into this appointment to discover that this place doesn't have any light bulbs. Except for that one I installed over in the corner. As fortune has it, I bought this 100 watt LED online from China a few weeks ago. I was originally just going to build a flashlight or something, but this seems a lot more practical. Every LED has a forward voltage, which is a minimum voltage threshold that needs to be met before the diode will actually begin emitting light. For this one, it's relatively high, around 23 volts. Alright, yeah, wow, that's, that's bright. I call it the super duper bright, knock your socks off, light bulbs are a thing of the past 100 watt LED. Be sure not to look at the diode for too long, or else it might cause damage to your eyes. While this light is cool, still not exactly what was advertised. You see, what I was sold is a 100 watt LED. At 30 volts, it only draws about 1.5 amps, which means its total input power is about 45 watts, less than half of what was actually marketed. Normally I would complain, but I guess I'm still relatively satisfied. Ow. Ow. Ow! LEDs have a tendency of getting quite hot, which means it's a good idea to use a heat sink to prevent it from burning out and also to prevent it from burning your hand. Without a heat sink, the diode would heat up incredibly fast and burn out quickly. Ow. So I'm particularly intrigued that high intensity light can kind of go through your skin. <laughs> that just gave me a brilliant idea! This flashlight can demonstrate that my cheeks are the best place to demonstrate the light going through my skin. And now, if I carefully take the LED, uh huh, actually that, and then, and that. So the smarter, smarter way to go about doing this would be to wrap the LED in electrical tape, as to avoid the uncomfortable sensation of pain. So I'm starting the voltage off low, and I'm slowly going to bring it up. Uh, uh, uh. High-powered LEDs like this one are often used in streetlights. Let's see how it fares against the parking lot. Wow! It lights up the entire parking lot. As a street light, this is very effective. And I can make hand puppets. LEDs we know only emit light somewhere on the visible spectrum. So that should beg the question, how do white LEDs even exist? There are actually two prevailing methods to make white LEDs. One is by combining red, green, and blue light to make an overall white emission. But this one doesn't work that way. In fact, the way that this one works is kind of clear just by looking at it. You can see the yellow phosphor on the front. Behind that is a blue LED. As the blue light passes through the phosphor, it'll mix with the produced yellow light and create an overall prevailing white. <sighs> Science is fun again. Thanks for watching.